Where did you find this? Thank you. Let's see. Uh oh, this is not good. This is a contract scroll meant for the Starlight Observatory ruins, and it came to the wrong place. I should send it back before it's due, but I can't leave my post. Are you sure? I can't entrust it to just anyone. Oh, wait. Aren't you the adventurer who helped Martinet in the Lord's Aid? You made the wolf hunting contest possible, didn't you? Please deliver it to Elira at the Starlight Observatory ruins. Oh, I'm so glad this contract can be completed on time. The Resistance always lends a helping hand to those in need. We get requests to help with everything from minor problems to high-risk life-or-death missions. Normally, only Resistance soldiers can do this, but you have Clay's token, right? If he trusts you, we certainly can too. Take a look at some contracts if you want. Now, take this to Ilira at the Starlight Observatory ruins. Oh, don't forget to open the waypoint in the Urstella fields on the way, hmm? Take care. Oh, and before you go, you should stop by Marianne, the accessories crafter, and pick up some accessories. The better your gear, the stronger the monsters you can take on. Welcome! I'm the contract manager from the Allied Resistance Forces. Let's take a look at you. Adventure Pro Percy, a seasoned Amatoyi veteran, told you about adventures available only to Amatoyi. Your little friends can now go on their own exciting expeditions. It is said that long ago the seeds of a flower with jewels for petals fell on an unnamed land and it became the beautiful field it is today. Goblins have long occupied and mined this mysterious gem-rich land and they do not hesitate to slaughter any human who dares disturb them. To the woods or the abyss, wherever you go, as long as you I'm with the contract depot of the Allied Resistance. What can I do for you? Only Resistance soldiers can take on contracts. Oh, it's you! I heard a lot about you from Nos. You're said to be quite talented. Nice to meet you. You've got Clay's token, right? Then you're officially part of the Resistance. While you're here, how'd you like to try taking on a contract? Here. Take a look at these contracts. Don't worry, they all have generous rewards. Let's see. You've got some good contracts. Nice. Oh no. Ruby's at it again. Oh, that's my goblin friend over there, who's been pretty upset lately. I don't know what's going on. Let's find a contract. Your bag looks a little bit heavy there. Maybe get it organized first? We're all doomed! We're really doomed! We're all going to die! 
Brother, you need to listen to me. The Urstella Goblin Horde is going to attack. There's going to be a war. We're in big, 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 big trouble. While I was wandering, I saw the Urstella clan collecting weapons. They said they were going to hunt humans. I heard it clearly with my own two ears. If we don't come up with a plan quickly, we'll all die. I spoke to the watch captain, but he didn't believe me. Friend, I never lie. Thank you. I hope the watch captain can trust you like family and come up with countermeasures. Really? Oh, you give me hope, brother. You can find the watch captain at Red Moon Lake in Carmine Forest. Good luck. Long ago, the mages of Venelux built an observatory to watch the stars in the sky, but the Archeum destroyed the tower, leaving it in ruins. It is now being used as a base for those adventuring in the Estella Fields, Carmine Forest, and the nesting grounds. At the request of Castleton contract manager Nas, you met with Elira, the contract manager at the Starlight Observatory Ruins. She said that she could use some help, and suggested that you take on a contract. What brings you here? Who said that? Was it that goblin again? Don't waste your time and energy. Be on your way. Um, can you please come this way? The captain doesn't believe what that goblin says. It's because of... Ugh, the captain would believe me if there was any clear evidence. Watch Captain really believe you? You're amazing, brother! How did you do it? Tell me your secret. Possessing a black heart. Front paws to the spider. Is this what it says? Is this all? This isn't enough. Goblins always write in three phrases. <sighs> the last sentence is torn off. What is it? This is a dangerous place and best avoided. Well, some people call me that. Possessing a black heart? Those goblins colluded with Archeum. Where did you get this document? I see. The last part is torn from this parchment. It means the order is about to be executed. But we don't know the details. How troublesome. Ah, oh, and goblins always perform a special ritual before a major operation, sharing the details to their members. We might be able to find out what this is all about from the ritual. A goblin agitator is leading the ritual. We'll need to figure out the meaning of the final sentence. Will you do that? Thank you. Come meet me here when you find the last piece. Oh, and watch out for the giant goblin butcher.
day, we head to the Spider Forest! Brothers, we meet at night at the Monument Stone by the Star Cluster Hill! me I did it don't hit me you are the one talking to Ruby at the Starlight Observatory ruins right let me introduce myself I am Ariella I am researching the Estella Fields monument stones and the local goblins Ruby has been feeling uneasy lately and the goblins have been acting strangely based on my investigation they appear to be gathering here and they seem to be preparing for an important ritual but I have no clue what that might be do you have any ideas huh then they're here for... that ritual? How fascinating! I absolutely must know more. <laughs> I have an idea, adventurer. I will morph you into a goblin, then you can listen in on their gathering. Oh, infiltration isn't one of my strong suits. Better if I send an expert like you to find out what the goblin's objective is. Good luck! Here, I'll morph you! Now listen up! The ritual is starting! This is our time! A celebration of goblins! By goblins! For goblins! Now, let's begin! Now it's my turn! Now it's my turn! The last emblem. Don't forget, meet us there. Good job. Front paws to the spider and tail towards the star. They plan to lure the resistance into Carmine Forest and take control of the Starlight Observatory ruins. How cunning. The Starlight Observatory ruins are in a strategic spot and must be defended. Go to the Starlight Observatory ruins and let the god know about the goblins' attack plan. In the meantime, I'll gather some troops. Time is of the essence. Hurry, I'll meet you there. Oh, they must have come to steal our blessing from us. What's the matter? What? An attack? Everyone already left under Captain Ruffalo's order. Oh, no. Oh, no! No, we get it all! Are you okay? I'm fine. <laughs> Swarming. There's a surprise attack! I have more numbers than I thought. Adventurer, we'll go off the entrance. Please activate the magic trap set on the uphill path. Looks like we got rid of them all. They won't come back, right? Huh? What's that? Coming back? Again? What to do? We've used all the magic traps. There's one thing we're testing at the top of the hill. Uh, I'm not sure. It's still incomplete. There's no other choice. Ivedra, activate the magic trap at the end of the ruined observatory. We'll take care of the goblins in the meantime. Uh. 
Good, a success! It was a bit risky this time. We'd have been in quite a pickle if it hadn't been for you, adventurer. Thank you, adventurer. Not yet! What are you doing? Kill them! This is ours from this day forward! What's that huge monster? Stop them! Everyone descend! We have to block the entrance somehow! We can't let that monster in! Good job, everyone. There may be important orders among the Chief's belongings. Look closely. Where the hell did you find this? It's my armband from back in the day. Thanks for finding it. Do you mind bringing this to Ruffalo? About time this armband gets itself a new owner. He'll get more use out of it than me. Come to think of it, I don't think we've had a chance for introductions. Where are you from? Wisp Island. Do you happen to know anyone named Jan Junath? Ah, I see. Jan is my friend who used to travel around Silesium with me. If it weren't for that insidious Calanthia. That was such a long time ago. I'll see you later. We should head back before the goblins start hating us even- Come back soon! Their stellar fields are always open! See you next time the starlight calls us. Take care! We defended the Carmine Forest. You helped protect the Starlight Observatory. And you're not even a member of the Resistance. My thanks. This is his armband. How did you get this? Captain Henson wants... Me? To have this? Me? I don't deserve this. Ten years ago, most of the patrol members died in a plot by the Archeum Legion. Only Captain Henson, myself, Gistil, and Zizero survived. Before I knew it, I was running away. I brought in reinforcements, but it was too late. My comrades died and the captain lost an eye. Well, he's quite magnanimous. Sorry, but can I ask you a favor? I now know how Captain Henson feels. So you can return this to its true owners. To my comrades who died there ten years ago, fighting to the bitter end. I can't leave my post, so I would ask you to do it for me. You will find the monument of Gestal and Zizero in the Starlight Observatory ruins. Please bury this armband under the monument.
pray to the gods to fill the entire world with light. Years ago, craftsmen in the employ of the Archeum Legion secretly visited the resistance soldiers at the observatory, offering a huge reward for aid in stealing gems from the goblins. The soldiers, who were suffering through a famine, were overwhelmed with temptation. All but three of them left the camp. While the guards were away, the waiting Archeum battle platoon readied for the attack. Watch Captain Henson understood the situation all too well. He told the three remaining guards to flee, and one of them, Ruffalo, escaped into the woods with his head hung low. Battling against an endless sea of enemies, the two remaining guards died horrible deaths. Henson, who lost an eye, rose again each time he fell, sword held high. Just as Henson, bravely wounded, neared his own death, Ruffalo returned. He had not fled at all, but instead brought reinforcements who drove back the enemy forces. Although the bravery of Henson and his men saved many lives, he blamed himself for the death of the soldiers and resigned as watch captain. Ten years later, he still quietly defends the front lines and is admired and respected by the local resistance forces.